and welcome to The Faith Life with me, Kev. Over the next few videos, we will be looking at a certain event that is coming up. That is, of course, Easter. Today we'll be focusing on one of the first key events of Easter, the betrayal of Jesus. What I would like to do firstly is to go through the events leading up to this moment of betrayal that we're going to be looking at today. Firstly, the main players. We have, of course, Jesus, who us Christians believe was and is the Christ or the Saviour. And then we have Jesus' disciples or key followers. These disciples have been with Jesus pretty much the entire time that he has been ministering or teaching the people. Uh, and they were probably the people closest to Jesus at the time. They would have considered him a friend and a mentor, uh, and yet one of them decided to betray him. That man was called Judas. Now, let's just focus on this for a second. Here was a man who had been with Jesus for a couple of years. He'd seen him do miracles, heard him teach amazing and sometimes very difficult to understand things. And he'd been in the inner circle and had some of these really difficult teachings uh, explained to him by Jesus. And yet, despite all this, he chose to betray him. One of the people closest to Jesus ended up being the very person to betray him so deeply. Let's just jump into the Bible to see exactly what happened. Luke 22 verses 1 to 6 says, now the festival of unleavened bread called the Passover was approaching and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some way to get rid of Jesus, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Judas called Iscariot, one of the twelve, and Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. They were delighted and agreed to give him money. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them with no crowd present. Jumping forward, Luke 22 verses 47 to 53. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, no more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard and the elders who had come for him. Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. What we see here is a man, despite knowing Jesus and following him, still succumbs to the temptations of the world. In this instance, money. You see, when it says Satan entered him, we can read this as entered his heart. Judas allowed himself to fall to sin in that moment. His greed and want for money meant that he was willing to betray the man he knew could give him eternal life. Crazy. How easy in our lives then for people to betray us? We are no Jesus, although I'm sure some of us would like to think that we are. I am far from perfect, unlike Jesus. I still do things that are against what God wants, unlike Jesus. I am selfish, unlike Jesus. You get the point, right? Otherwise I could just go on and on and on listing things and uh, I could be here all day doing that. If someone like Jesus could be betrayed by someone so close to him, then of course there are people in my life and in your life that will betray us. There may be people in your life that already have betrayed you. The key thing here is knowing who we can trust, who we can rely on. People may let us down, people will let us down, people may already have let us down. They may have betrayed us, they may hurt us, but there is one who will never and could never. That is the same man who was betrayed so awfully by one so close to him. 
Jesus. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. If we put our trust in Jesus, he won't betray us. He'll be with us. And you know what we can take comfort in? When things get rough and we feel like utter rubbish, we can take comfort knowing that he knows exactly how we feel. After all, he was betrayed by one of the people closest to him, and then some. But more on that next time. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have found that helpful. Please do use the comment section for any questions that you have or to start up any discussion based on what I've talked about in this video. I would love to chat to you guys about stuff in more detail, so please do use the comment section. If you've enjoyed the video, then please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more. You can also drop me a follow over on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with the channel and you'll find the links for those in the description below. All that's left for me to say is I hope you have a wonderful day, stay safe, until next time my friends. Mm -hmm.